What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. All you new subscribers, I'm Barbas. So today I woke up kind of late and I uploaded kind of late. Um, I got some other stuff I got to do, but right now what I'm going to do is we are going to install the flywheel and the clutch. I really wanted to go outside and paint, but unfortunately it's pretty late right now. So if you guys remember my other video, I showed you the clutch when I ordered it. Um, I went ahead and I opened up the packages and I got it laid right here. It's an XTD brand from eBay. Uh, this is the flywheel. It weighs 8 pounds. The pressure plate. And the 6 puck clutch disc. This is supposed to be a stage 4. So I got the bearing that has to go into the flywheel. I got this tool right here, the alignment tool for the clutch. Um, I got my flywheel bolts right here. And then I got my clutch bolts right here. Uh, usually what you want to do is you want to replace these with new ones. But in my case, I'm just going to send them with these. I'm not going to buy any new ones. Um, you're going to need some thread locker. You're going to need a 17 millimeter socket for these guys for the flywheel. Your torque wrench. And then for the pressure plate, which is these bolts, you're going to need a number 10. Number 10. And it has to be the same way as the other one with all the little teeth in there. So I'm about ready to install this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, um, take this thing off. Basically, I'm gonna slip this off, carry my engine to right here, to this plastic that I laid right here, set it right there on the side because of the fact that it's kind of hard to work on it with this right here. Then after I lay it on the couch, I'm gonna remove these bolts and take this metal bracket off so then I can have clearance to put that guy in there put the flywheel put the clutch the pressure plate and then tighten everything down and then I'll go ahead and put this thing back on there and put it back in here so I went ahead and I laid it on the side on the floor instead because this cushion was making it all weird This one's a little bit smaller so I got the plate off um, I do need to replace this guy right here that was what I was looking for at the junkyard also yesterday this one's good but this one's bad so right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this guy and I am gonna put him in here this guy goes in through the backside because there's a little lip on here that holds it in place so basically, you got to come in through this side and you put them right here. It's a little bit hard, so you're going to have to get like a socket. Let me see if I have one around here. So you take a socket. This one says 7 eighths. And basically, you put it around the edging like that and you tap it up here with the hammer and it starts to, to fall into place. So I tap this guy in right now. He's nice and even in there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this guy outside and I'm going to spray him down with some brake cleaner and make sure that it's all nice and clean. So 
now that this flywheel is nice and clean, it's ready to be installed. Basically, it's just going to lay over this. And then you're going to grab your bolts and thread it in. So it should look something like this. Basically, it drops in there. And you can see the, the holes right there where it threads. You're going to take the flywheel bolts right here. You're going to take your thread locker. And you're going to put a little dot on there. Spread it around. And these, I believe they have to be torqued down to 87. So we'll go ahead and put them in and then I'll torque them all down. So basically when you torque them down, make sure you go in the star pattern. When you torque it down, make sure that you don't have any extensions on your torque wrench. Otherwise that's gonna throw off the torque and everything's set I'm gonna go ahead and torque it down another thing when you start torquing it down the flywheel is gonna start to spin on you so what I like to do is take something like this an extension drop it through one of these holes and it's eventually gonna hit right here and it's gonna lock in place so I'm gonna go ahead and torque it down now so this is what it should look like I'm gonna go ahead and put my clutch disc in. So this guy just drops in, just like that, right there. And then you take your alignment tool. What did I do with it? Oh, it's right here. All right, you take your alignment tool, you put it right through. All the way through like that then you take your pressure plate I'm gonna go ahead and clean this side off with some brake cleaner and then I'm gonna bring it back in here so I went ahead and I sprayed this with brake cleaner and basically this guy when he drops on there there's only one way how he could go in so I don't know if you can see that little pin, that little silver pin right there. That's gonna go right on there like that. So like right now, all three of these pins lined up. But if you try to spin it, pull it out again, and try to put it with the other pin, that's right there, it's not gonna line up. And then if you spin it again and try to line this pin up again, these other pins are not gonna line up. So there's only one way to put this pressure plate on here. And it's this way. And now all the pins will line up. So now we're gonna take these bolts and I believe these are torqued at 19. I'm gonna go 20. That's when we grab our 10. And we're obviously gonna do this stuff again. A thread locker on there. And basically I'm just gonna thread them in. And then after they're all threaded in, I'll go ahead and torque it down. So there it is, everything's torqued down. You got your little tool in here, you can pull it out. And there you go, the clutch is on. I'm gonna go ahead, put this guy back on there and I'm gonna put it back on the engine stand. All right, so I got the engine back on the engine stand. Let me tell you right now, this, this was a pain. I put a bunch of washers in between to make the space because this plate would hit the clutch to try to give myself some space with those washers but this bottom bolt I didn't have enough washers to put on here 
and then I only have one, two, and three. I don't have the fourth one at the bottom holding it. So I'm not gonna try to move this around or anything because of the fact those that. Uh, bolts in and I definitely don't wanna strip those guys out or anything. So there you go, the clutch is in. And I believe this is gonna be the end of this video. I'll catch you guys on the next video. It's gonna probably be about painting. Till then, peace out. Later. Peace.